we are back in a wildlife sanctuary and of course we are back in an EV and this time we are in the famous Ghir forest with this Audi e-tron. on the lookout for the king of the jungle which is the Asiatic lion. So it's going to be quite an adventure in this enchanting forest but getting here well that was quite an adventure in itself. I'm to meet the Audi e-tron in Ahmedabad, which Rahul has driven all the way from Mumbai, comfortably. So I already know doing long distances is not a problem. Our journey starts in Ahmedabad, where the Audi e-tron is waiting for us at the Fern Hotel. It's an early morning start and the e-tron is fully charged and so are we. We just can't wait to hit the road. Gujarat's roads are smooth and straight and we hold a steady cruise. It's an uneventful drive until we get to Rajkot and that's when the adventure starts. The plan was to stop at a Tata Power charging point at one of the Tata Motors dealerships for a quick top up but things didn't go as planned. The fast charger kept giving some kind of error and we just couldn't get it to work. We tried another one at an MG dealership down the road and that didn't work either. Now what? Well, we had no choice but to press on with mother range anxiety sitting heavy on our shoulders. It's at times like this the e-tron's good range comes in handy and we manage the 320 km drive on a single charge. Finally roll into the Fern Resort in Sasangir. The Fern Gir Forest Resort is our home for the next few days and we are really made to feel like home, starting with this grand welcome. This resort is a luxurious haven with huge rooms, delicious food and friendly staff. Ranjit Kumar, the general manager, shows me around the property which has a wonderful ambience and decor that's really in keeping with the surroundings. And you can't miss the story of the Asiatic lion nicely captured in this corridor. It's another early morning start the next day and the idea is to get into the forest at the crack of dawn because that's when the big cats are most active. The Fern Resort is fantastically located and just a few kilometers away from the main gate to the park. Now this trip is a bit historic because the e-tron is the first ever EV to enter the Gir Forest National Park. Of course we've got special permissions for this very special journey. Now it's really a magical feeling gliding through this forest in a silent EV. I must say the forest tracks here are really smooth, not too rough. It feels like a rally stage. Yes, you are tempted to go flat out. They are that smooth as you can see. But there's just so much to soak in. And soon enough, we spot our first lion that just killed a huge buffalo. The e-tron sunroof comes in handy and it's not always a bad thing to stick your head out of it. It was quite a gory sight watching this huge male lion gorging on his kill. But this is the law of nature. So 
so we got to see the lion and it was an amazing sight because it was a lion with its skill so that's a big tick off the bucket list and now we are exploring the forest to see what other wildlife we can spot Yes, the lion is the star attraction. It's the emblem of gear. But there's lots of other wildlife to see. There's plenty of spotted deer and these beautiful animals are quite shy and shoot off whenever they see you. But somehow with the e-tron silently creeping past them, they didn't seem too nervous. There's lots of nilgai too and this rather large deer is what lions feed on. But seeing how relaxed they are over here, there are obviously no lions around. Wild boar too roam freely in this forest, but that's one animal others don't want to mess with. And then in the distance, basking in the sun, and as still as a stone, we spot our first crocodile. Driving to the dam at one end of the national park, we spot some more crocs in the lake. It's a fantastic drive down a long dirt stretch to this pristine spot where we get a great photo op. Some of the tracks in Kheer are really rough, but the four-wheel drive e-tron takes it all in its stride. Now when you go off-road, ground clearance becomes an issue, especially in an EV where the battery pack is really low down in the floor. But this is one area where the e-tron scores because not only is the standard ground clearance good, but you can even raise it further by selecting off-road mode. And uh, yeah, you can just raise the car and you get a couple of extra vital centimeters. The e-tron feels at home in the surrounding, as if it belongs here. And I feel quite guilty sitting nicely ensconced in the comfort of this cabin, whilst the photography team is being badly bounced around in the park gypsies. But there's one thing I can't get out of my mind. Yes, you guessed it, it's the range. So I've got one eye on the wildlife and one eye on the range meter. Driving a EV, you're always conditioned to do that. So let's see how much charge we have. Lost 15%, so still a good 85%. So yeah, can drive all day and uh, no worries. And we did drive all day looking for more lions and it was dusk before we were rewarded with the lioness and the most adorable cubs. This was the perfect way to end the day. And now the only thing left is to charge the e-tron. But this time we don't have to go hunting for a charger, we have one set up right inside the resort. So it's been a really long day, but what a day it's been, some phenomenal sightings. And tonight I can sleep well in the knowledge that the 95 kilowatt battery of the Audi e-tron is going to be fully topped up. And it's thanks to this, the Mindra EV station, which this company Mindra has actually got here for us. It's a DC charger, a 60 kilowatt DC charger. So to top up this battery takes just a couple of hours and it's really easy to use. Let's juice it up. SD. RFID card. And it's charging. Easy peasy. Thanks Mindra, your DC fast charger worked brilliantly and transformed my range anxiety into range ecstasy. Back at the hotel, it was time for a good dinner and some relaxation. And the weather, it was just perfect. 
and to end the evening there was quite an entertaining performance by the local folk. So day two, all charged up, e-tron also charged up and we are out looking for lions and we've been pretty lucky this morning. We saw some fantastic sightings, lions on the road and this one male which just drank and drank and drank at a pond, obviously very thirsty. So really a great start to day two as well. But as they say, the best was saved for last. We were incredibly lucky to see this huge pride, cubs and all, sauntering past as if we did not exist. These magnificent cats have a special aura about them, a regal air as if everything around them doesn't matter. And by just watching them at close quarters, you know why they are called the king of the jungle. The Gir authorities takes pride, pardon the pun, that the lion population has increased by almost 50% in the last few years. A true sign that their efforts at conserving this wonderful beast has worked. But quite honestly, you can never get your fill of this magnificent beast, which really is the king of the jungle. And what's made this safari really special is this, the Audi e-tron. Now, driving something that's noiseless and non-polluting in these pristine surroundings, that really makes you feel good. And this is the way of the future. And hopefully, beautiful areas like this will one day only have electric cars.